what inspired you to go about creating such an event? Well, first of all, I am a native and a product of the community here, and I've been a business owner for 35 years. And normally when I want to expand or to invest into myself or my business, I have to go away to different expos and business conferences, and there's never been anything of this magnitude here mm -hmm. locally. So I always just, you know, different boards that I sit on, I kind of mention it and, you know, but it was never until I got with the group at Edison Mall that it actually became a reality. Um, the inspiration is to be able to see other um, small mom and pop or just small business owners um, of different eth ethnicities, mainly black, brown, yellow, like myself, to see them have the opportunity to get the information, the valuable information that they need to take their business to the next level. Yes, and when I first heard you tell me this, and then I heard it from Angelie and Brad and start hearing that concept, I started getting giggly and, and tingling in my spine, like this is gonna be terrific. It is so great to have a, a person like yourself involved and the community involved and to have that big Edison Mall that's been sitting there to embrace the community in such a great way like this with a Southwest Florida Black Expo. This is just this is just a tremendous thing that's going to go on into perpetuity as a, a wonderful event to take place. You as the marketing director over there, Angela Lee, when the whole concept of you guys start putting the concept together, tell me about the excitement and your thought process on how you start seeing the vision for this. Well, you know, the Edison Mall is a goodwill ambassador for the community. And we definitely are looking for more opportunities to engage the community and become more part of it. So when Altemia came to us with this idea, we were so excited to jump on and partner with her and the Dunbar Festival Committee to bring this event to life. And having it at Edison is just a fantastic opportunity for all of us here in this Southwest Florida region. Kind of talk about this, what the event should look, what the general idea, how the, uh, the uh, Southwest Florida Black Expo will look to the community. We're going to have a wide range of activities going on from vendors to food trucks to a designated kids area. We have speakers and seminars from our budding entrepreneurs to our seasoned professionals. We will have um, we're supporting our lo local nonprofits, our first responders. We'll be having health checks for our community. We want our community to engage with us, the Edison Mall, the Southwest Florida Back Expo, to highlight and showcase what our diverse community is about and what it has to offer here. One of the things that stood out just now in your um, uh, presentation right there, you mentioned the word vendor. As soon as you said vendor, people all around start jumping all in their <laughs> little houses and stuff like, I can't afford to be a vendor at the Edison Mall. What do they mean vendors? Who's going to be the vendors? Do you have to have a store in the Edison Mall to be a vendor? Blah, blah, blah. Just saying the stuff that they're saying right now. Sesame Street that to them and how they can become vendors. Anyone can become a vendor. We're having it in April and April is Diversity Month. So we're opening up to any person of color. So if you have a small mom and pop shop to a big business, we want you here. You can contact us at Shop Edison Mall under the Southwest Florida Black Expo. We are looking for informational booths, retail, food, anything under the sun that you can imagine. We want you, we welcome you, and we can't wait to have you. Now, when you say you can contact you at that website that you just mentioned, we're going to have that up on the screen. But yes. when you said that once they go there, there's an application there and everything is right there, they can fill out. Absolutely. And one of the things, uh, Demon Sean, I know she's calling you um, Altenia. Altenia. I'm just going to go with that, Demon Sean. Mm -hmm. uh, when I heard the cost for you to be a vendor at this event, I was so impressed on how it's being made economical so many people can get an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. Well, when, when I actually approached the uh, mall, that's where the collaboration came in because in order to make this event happen, the cost would have been high. But the Edison Mall stepped in and said, no, we're not interested in making money off of the deal. Let's just make it happen. So we were able to actually cut the cost down tremendously to get as many. I think this we're, what we're trying to do is just impact and get as many um, businesses involved, whether it's an online business, if you, you know, whatever, because somebody may just be doing online right now, but dream of expanding. So this would be an opportunity that anyone basically that has a business can basically come in and kick it off. Okay, so to let's be, to go ahead. Give, It's actually um, 
what is it? I think it's one hundred and fifty dollars for three days. Right, that's basically fifty dollars a day. Fifty dollars a day for a vendor, and that's if you're actually vending and selling. I think, and if you're just giving out information, an informational uh, vendor, uh, it's seventy five dollars. So that's just twenty five dollars a day. Okay, you can't beat it. What's food truck? Food truck would be seventy five dollars a day. Can't beat it. 